Hello and welcome back to Save It For Parts. In my last video, I built a simple combustion potato cannon and I actually made it a little less simple by tacking on a propane torch and a remote tank to kind of improve the overall design of the basic potato gun. Now, as I may have mentioned in the earlier video, there's another kind of potato gun and that's the pneumatic or compressed air style. Now, I'm building a slightly different design today because I have a part ownership in a terrible pontoon boat and a couple friends and I got this pontoon and it originally had a pirate theme to it we tore a lot of that off because it was kinda nasty chipboard composite board which would rot but we still want a cannon for this pirate ship of ours now I did have a black powder cannon for a while which was designed to shoot golf balls and that suffered an unfortunate accident so we decided that's a little less safe to have around on a boat and we decided we'd go with a compressed air cannon to fire salutes, uh, festive pirate themed greetings, various fruits and vegetables, whatever we feel like shooting off of our boat. So I'm going to be building a pirate style compressed air cannon. Similar to that other gun, this is going to be the compressed air chamber with some adapters. I picked up another sprinkler valve. I think I found this at a garage sale. And I kind of obsessively collect stuff at garage sales and estate sales that I think might be useful for future projects. So I have a bunch of junk like this lying around my garage. And then through a number of adapters, I'm gonna go back up to a larger barrel and that's gonna sit in kind of a U shape. And then the entire assembly will sit in a naval style cannon carriage. Now this isn't all second hand. I did buy some of these adapters on my last trip to the hardware store. But I also do have my giant box of hoarded PVC that comes from garage sales and leftovers from prior projects. So hopefully if I don't have enough parts here, I'll have enough parts hoarded to finish this without another trip to the hardware store. I'm going to do a quick mock-up of this prior to gluing everything together, just to make sure that I actually have the pieces that I want. This is the three quarter inch size valve. I originally thought I had a one inch and I got these elbows that are one inch thread. Turns out they're the wrong size, so they go into the spare parts bin for the future. Now I don't quite like the look of this. This part came out a little taller than I wanted because I was not able to use the original elbows that I was expecting. So maybe I'll try to reshape this a little bit. Well that looks a little better, but my barrel is way too short. I just switch where my elbows are, and now I have a longer barrel and a shorter chamber. So I can build a little wooden carriage for this, and then I might try to find a momentary electrical switch for this sprinkler solenoid so that we can fire this by pulling a string. And that's once the chamber is filled up with air. Basically what I want the carriage to look like, just a standard naval pirate ship looking cannon. And that wood will kind of hide the interior of that tank and barrel and firing mechanism. I was thinking of using some of these scrap 2x4s that I pulled out of a dumpster, but they're pretty gnarly, even for something like this. And I might save those to make a terrible raft with some of these uh, jugs and things. So instead, I've got this slightly nicer wood. And it's a little bent and wonky at the end. So it's not very good for actual pretty things. So I'm going to go ahead and use it for this cannon. That's starting to look pretty piratical already. Now over here, I've got a whole box of pneumatic valves and regulators, and I just need a nice gauge. Maybe this one. Now I was actually thinking of selling this box of stuff, 
But that would be silly, because here I am grabbing parts out of it and using them, so I guess I'll keep hoarding this forever. This particular pipe that I'm using is rated up to 280 PSI, and this gauge only goes up to 160, but I think I still want to keep this quite a bit lower. So I'm going to call 100 my maximum for this tank. So I've marked my gauge as having 100 PSI as the start of the red line. I'm going to mount my gauge into the end cap. I'm also going to mount a quick disconnect air fitting in there. I might go ahead and put some of that plastic epoxy that I used in the last video around each of these fittings so that they are fully airtight. I'm going to start gluing these together and since it is still about 40 degrees outside I took these in to warm up for a little bit and I took my PVC cement and primer in to warm up for a little bit. So that's basically a potato cannon right there, and now I just need to let that PVC cement set up. Now I also need some wheels for my pirate cannon carriage, so I'm just going to use a hole saw to drill out some rounds out of this piece of scrap wood and use those as wheels. Here's another wheel. That one needs a little trimming. and then we just have to put our pneumatic cannon into this carriage. So now we need a good coat of paint, I think some black on the barrel, and some brown on the wood carriage, and it'll look a little more vintage piratey. I've also got this little 12 volt air compressor with a broken hose. I think the compressor works, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to replace this broken piece and just use this to pressurize my cannon. Now that I have the pirate cannon painted, I'm about ready for an initial test. And you might think from watching the video that a pneumatic cannon is simpler than a propane or combustion cannon. There's no propane tank, there's no funny igniter, but off scene, there's all this other stuff that I need just to test it. I've got my 12 volt air compressor. I've got a little battery charger that I'm using to run the air compressor. And since I don't currently have a 24 volt system, I'm using my old Air Cannon's ignition system, which is 27 volts. And I'm using that to activate the sprinkler solenoid on the Pirate Gun. I'm doing this first test at about 50 PSI, which it turns out is about all that little baby compressor will handle. I also just have the barrel full of wadded rags because I don't really want to put a hole in my garage door. Fire! Well that worked a couple times and then my baby compressor sprung a leak on its hose. So there goes all my smugness about reusing something from the trash. This hose is just complete brittle garbage. 
So let's hook it up to the shop compressor and see how that does. All right, testing at 100 PSI. Fire! Wow, that tank is still at about 80. I bet I could get another shot out of this. Fire! Boy, that is a great sound. I wonder if I could make some kind of a steam whistle out of this thing. I ran down to Axeman Surplus and I got some 9 volt batteries, some 9 volt connectors, and this momentary switch. This little sprinkler solenoid is supposed to run on 24 volts, but I figure 27 volts is pretty close. It works well enough on my other potato gun. Well, I've wired up my three batteries in series, and I added in this little on-off switch just to disconnect the power from the whole system here. And so if I turn on the switch and push on the momentary, that activates my solenoid up here. Alrighty, we've got our string rigged up. I'm going to turn on the power, and then we should be ready to fire. Fire! Fire! Well, that's all I've got for the pirate cannon at the moment. And I think this is going to serve us well on our terrible pontoon boat. And it should throw many a fruit and many a vegetable at rival boats out on the lake and on the river. But that would be a summer project. For now, I'm going to set this aside and go on to work on something else. So, thank you for watching. This has been yet another Save It For Parts project. And please go ahead and like and subscribe if you want to see more of these projects or whatever I get up to next.